Hey, what's up, guys? How y'all doing today? Well, if your name is Drake, Kendra just exposed who the mole in your camp is. And guess what? Drake can't do anything about it, but just sit there and abandon his plans. Y'all, we thought this mess was over. We thought that Drake had just accepted his L and would go back to making us, you know, making us dance and waving our hands. But guess what? Kendrick the Menace is undefeated. See, here's the thing. Kendrick ain't letting Drake breathe. Remember with that Adonis mess and Pusha T when he exposed Drake for being an absolute sociopath, in my opinion, for hiding a son because he was ashamed that he got a P star pregnant. But at the end of the day, Drake, that was stupid because even Kanye um, made an honest woman out of Kemp. So if Kanye can make an honest woman out of a girl that has the most famous blank tape in the world, I know you could have did something with Sophie. Honestly, right? And Drake, all these Drake fans that are glazing, that's how you see a man's real power. That's how you, that's how you know you standing next to a boss. Baby, you are Jesus. I am a wash in, I am a wash in your blood and I am reborn. You, you saw what he did to Kim, you will bow down. Who made a tape? <laughs> You better watch your mouth. But anyway, get into this, because this is good. Kendrick wasn't joking when he said there was a mole. And he is exposing the mole is still there. Why? Because all of Drake's moves, Kendrick has circumvented. His latest move, people are saying, was for him to do a remix of Man in the Mirror. And he was dropping clues that that's what's going to happen. However, after Drake and TDE, actually all Black Hippie, stepped on that feed, baby, there ain't nothing else he can do. Okay, so let's get into this. Where do y'all want to start? Let me take y'all from the top of how this all started, because it's funny. It ends with Fluffy Dimmicks being like, that's not true. Boy, everybody's saying it was true. And Drake and UMG Machine has to uh, retract. So let's get into this, right? Um, uh... Uh, da, 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 where are we at? Okay, so uh, they so here's the prediction: Drake, and this is what's said by a lot of people. Drake was not going to write a diss record to Kendrick. Okay, he was going to make a PR song. Now let me take you through the the tweets that woke me up. Okay. So, where are we at? Bo on Twitter said, if Drake really has a mole in his camp and K-Dot and TDE knows his moves before he makes them, bro, do you know how bad this is? They can step on this every release and ruin a surprise drop like Soul did today. Have you ever, and then he quoted Kendrick, have you ever thought that OVO is working for me? Hits different now, right? And I started cracking up. I said, this is too funny. Kendrick is still playing mind games. This man is like Moriarty on Sherlock Holmes. But imagine if Sherlock Holmes loses. That's what it's going. He's still playing mind games with Drake. And Drake definitely has prominent, not just mole, but moles. Again, it looks like some of these moles are on the UMG side, not just the OV Ho side. All right? Why do we think that? Because Absol, if you guys don't know, it was J-Rock, Absol, and Kendrick. They were part of Black Hippie. J-Rock was up first, you know, when, 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 right? Stop, that's the Aries anthem. Stop chasing that, whoop, these na ain't, whoop, when, 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 right? Um, then Kendrick popped out and everybody's just like, oh, okay. But truth be told, Absol was, was to me, and Kendrick's talented. He, lyrically and just in the way he organized, he was like on some super genius level. They were all very talented, all in their own right. They were the original top three, okay? Kendrick became the breakout star. Absol could have, but you know, I'm not even going to get into that. It's sad. But anyway, the point is they still cool. Absol was the guy that him and J-Rock were leading around. Kendrick stayed close to home. Here's what Absol tweeted. God, that, that, that. Just listen to this. It's going to make sense. My confession is yours. But who am I if I don't go to war? There's opportunity when living with loss. I discover myself when I fall short. 
he quoted something from Kendrick, you know, when he was telling uh, uh, Drake, baby, it's war if you want, and you're in a lifelong battle for yourself, and you need to humble yourself before I humble you, okay? Then he quoted Kendrick again, but he twist, he flipped it. He said, this is not a rap battle. This is scripture. Then he said, we all need to look in the mirror. Now, around this time, the dummy, dummy BBL Glazers was like, oh, you want to collab? You're bowing down. Told you Drake won. Now you need Drake again. They didn't realize that Absol was being super, super condescending and taunting Drake. Because listen, he said, if Drake is the MC I imagine he can be, redemption's not off the table. Now, to me, I recognize intellectual shade. Drake's been in the game for. 15 years, Drake is damn near 40, 50 years old, to actually say the MC I imagine he could be, basically saying in all this time in the game, you still in the MFC, but if you could, maybe step your game up. After 15 years in the game, maybe, redemption's not off the table. Then he said, keyword MC, MC, Masters of Ceremonies, a lyricist, someone that can rap. Drake's people still didn't get it. Hold on, I'm setting it up. He said, but but before my rant gets out of context, because that's when people are like, oh, you're glazing. You want Drake? Oh, because they dumb. And Absol is too smart for them. He should have known. These people don't know how to take context. These are the same people that they're king rap. Um, uh, I heard one of them kids might not be yours. I heard that might be uh, Dave Freeze. And then he said, let that shorty breathe. Shake that booty for uh, uh, Drake. Now shake your booty for free. But I'm not talking about free though. I'm talking about my ninja Dave. This is the real thing. And when I heard that, I said, Drake is so corny. And the people, because I know you just want party music, making dance. But when you actually listen to the lyrics, Something told me it was in the writing room and the ghost writers were like, we don't need to say, I'm not really, actually, I'm not really talking about free. I'm talking about my ninja Dave. The ghost writers were like, we don't need to put it in. You just said that the verse before I heard that kid might be Dave's. You don't have to explain when I say shake that booty for free. I'm not talking about free though. I'm really talking about my ninja Dave. And I feel like Drake was like, no, put it in, put it in. So they understand, but Drake understands his audience anyway. So Absol said, but before my rant gets out of context, he could never F with the gang in them on some rap-ish. That was never a question. We could still potentially, <laughs> this is intellectual shade, match artistry, removing my obvious personal and educated bias. If this was taken as an antic of any sort and not ISM, I don't know what ISM is. Well, get get off if you mad then dead homies then he said god bless then he said he blessed up the tde letting them know talk dog entertainment is running the game on top of that he said p.s where are the true artists at if it ain't a good picture you draw don't bring it to the architect and i said huh and the funny thing is drake posted this on his ig him standing with a cup of tea, looking corny as F, but that's Drake, right? He could actually lean into his corniness if he wasn't trying to be like, ba 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 on some gangster stuff, right? With a glass of tea in the embassy uh, with, with his back to the mirror, right? And then he followed the co-writer for Man in the Mirror. Now, they said fans are speculating that an upcoming Drake single will sample Michael Jackson's Man in the Mirror after he followed one of the song's writers, okay? And it showed uh, the song's writers. Now, when I heard that, and I hear just from reading up that this was 100% UMG's plan because much like Adonis and Pusha T, and when Drake flipped it and said, I wasn't hiding my child from the world, I was hiding the world from my child, right? And he flipped it and then he turned that into a song and he used that. They said the way that Drake's going to get out of this is by addressing all the accusations in not in a, uh, not in a, uh, a another rap diss track because he knows Kendrick will find him, right? But in a, a song 
by remaking Michael Jackson's Man in the Mirror and being very reflective. He actually was gonna try to flip it the way Kendrick said, oh, you want me to drop and give you 50? You want back to back? I like that for the record, right? He said, okay, you know what? I'm gonna do something like very reflective and kind of beat Kendrick in his own thing and address all the rumors. Kendrick just stepped on that by releasing it. By act, and this is what TDA was taunting him, letting them know, right? Letting them know that if you think that's what you're gonna do, go ahead and do it, Bro Crody, Broski, because baby, we got something for that too. We know what the song is gonna be about, and we know what the drop is gonna be now. And if I was Drake, I would be stressed the F out. I would be stressed to F out because last time you knew what my angle was, whether somebody told you or you predicted it, you destroyed me. Now you know my new angle by trying to make a reflective soulful and flip into kind of like singing and explain myself and all the stuff and something the public will accept. Y'all know what I'm doing and you gonna meet me at the door waiting on me like, go ahead and drop that so we can drop another diss track to destroy the narrative I'm making. I will be stressed. Now to add credence to this, Daylight said, he tweeted, here we go, dot, dot, dot. Let me get my fallout gear ready, lol. Basically saying that if Drake took that path, Kendrick was ready to go nuclear on him because you know Kendrick said he had five more tracks ready, okay? Now, ah, uh, here's the thing. Brian on Twitter said, correction, the first Discord leak, and these leaks have been very, very accurate. The first Discord leak suggested that it was going to be a song with subliminals, because you know Drake can't uh, love sneak dissing. Looks like it may take a different path, and it's a PR image repair. Again, Drake Man in the Mirror, Drake's PR team helped him with the Man in the Mirror and provided him with things to rap about on a song. Drake is apparently going to address the PDF file allegations on this song. And for that one guy, okay, listen. Now I said, listen, is this true? I 100% believe it. But then this, if it is true too, Drake, this shows how you are not connected to black culture. Cause everybody knows right now, Michael loved his mama, Catherine. Catherine is beefing with Michael's estate right now. So by paying for any licenses, rights, and using Michael's music, you are disrespecting Michael's mama, who he she loved more, he loved more than everything. Again, Catherine's beefing. It's almost like you don't understand the implications of sampling Michael's music in order to actually see what you're bringing about, okay? Now, Brian then went on to prick, right? Uh, Brian said, uh, they, so then Brian pointed out that when Absol said Kendrick's man, his old label, not label mate, but his, he was part of Black Hippie with Kendrick, that we all need to look in the mirror. Brian said a mirror reference from Soul in the Morning, who, uh, who by the way, Soul, Absol never, ever tweets, okay? Brian then went on to say, Prediction, this is not going to be a diss. It's a PR song to clear the allegations. Drake is a manipulator. Push, push a reveal he had a hidden kid. Then he flipped it to, I wasn't hiding the kid from the world. I was hiding the world from my kid. It sounds good, but not true. He's He actually was just ashamed of having a baby with a P star. All right. So all that happened, right? All that happened. And it was a very, very beautiful thing. Again, if I was Drake, I would be stressed. If I was UMG, I would be stressed. Drake can't afford another flop. The Sexy Red came and went. I actually think that Drake being on Sexy Red single is the reason why that single did so horribly well. Then they said, okay, we'll just go more mainstream with not, yeah, with Camila Caballo, right? And that racist song flopped. Part of the reason it flopped is because, so, well, she was trying to imitate SZA and Drake is just not good. They can't have another album come out with Drake's name on it where it actually flops. Three tracks in a row will be a flop. That EDM thing about new music coming soon, nobody cared about that. But that wasn't really like a Drake thing. It was like EDM. So it's outside of anything dealing with rap, R&B. They cannot have another flop. So guess what they did? UMG and Drake waved the right flag because 
Academics then came out and said, Karuko said Drake via IG. Fans are speculating that an upcoming drink single with a sample of Michael Jackson's Man in the Mirror after he followed the song Songwriter. DJ Academics said, that's not true. You guys, everybody in the music industry said it actually was true. And UMG, when they saw the response, pulled back. Not because of what the fans said, and not because of the Drake Glazers, and not because of the people like me, they're just casually watching, thinking it's the funniest thing, but because Kendrick and TDE hinted that if Drake does take that angle, baby, they got something waiting for that too. And now they got everybody scared and just sitting tired and sitting quietly. Baby, the end of the Not Like Us video, Kendrick did not lie. Remember when that owl was in the cage, just bowed down, looking to the side, scared to move because they didn't know what Kendrick was going to do yet, let, yet. Baby, did he predict the future or did he predict the future? Anyway, y'all, I'm following up on this. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.